B, what the hell's going on? Girl. What the hell is going on, B? Girl. B, B, B. It's not uh, Corona. It's is, not corona. Are you I sure swear. it's not Corona? I swear it's not. Like, it's not. I will quarantine you. I like, it's, it's cannabis. It's <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> I just, I cried at work today. Like, shit just got real. COVID 19, um, I think it's. We've it's about to kick my ass. Yeah, we, we're going through a lot right now, but let's talk about it for a little bit. I got that dish. I got that dish. 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 Hey y'all, it's Onika. And it's your girl B. And you are dishing with Dainty Dish. B, I don't I can't even ask you how don't you're doing. Ask like me. don't ask I don't me. even want I don't even want to know, to My be honest with you. It's like high. ask me how I'm doing right now. Like it's a it's an evil world we live in. This <laughs> Like, I have so many theories. Like, I have so many thoughts on this. Like, first of all, you know I wasn't given a two hell of a hoots no, you weren't. When this weekend you. when you were trying to warn me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You were trying to warn me, and I was like, no, Corona, whatever. Like, I'm going to just get takeout food, and, you know, it'll be fine. I'll be okay. Mm-hmm. I live in a cement building. Like, her. I'm fine. You guys should have heard her. You oh, I was, I was going on, like, I was trying to make Corona my bitch. Like well, surely you are hers now. So. Oh, I'm I'm she's a cruel mistress, let me tell you. <laughs> she's a girl. I go into work today and I have to like I can't even share the experience because I'm not allowed to talk about work on the podcast. But I will tell you this. I ended up I got a te- I saw that they were doing the one o'clock um Pierre not Pierre, what am I talking about? Justin with the good hair. They were doing the one o'clock conference. And that guy looked old. He looks stressed. Yeah, his wife Doesn't has. Ju- his wife has Corona. I heard that. Mm-hmm. Like he looks stressed out. He's got grays in his chin. He's got gray chin hair. He's not even trying to hair club for men. That he's letting everyone know I'm stressed. Mm-hmm. So the he's talking about you know he's shutting down the border except for Canadians residents live like you know landed residents and Americans. But now it's up to six. That was one at six. It was just board shut down. Board is completely shut down. Like. I was just in my office and I don't know, like I had a meeting this morning. Can't disclose what was happening in the meeting, obviously, but like shit just got super real today at work. Mm-hmm. Like I work for a local hospital guys. So like they're at the front lines of this mm-hmm. right now and they're doing preemptive strikes all over Which, these hospitals around say, the city. For all the hospital workers, like we commend you. Thank you. Thank you. Whew. Whew. You didn't have to do it, but you did. But you did, and you're doing it. You keep on doing it. Do it for us because we can't do it for ourselves at this point. So yeah, but like I just, it got so real. I just started panicking. Like I've been noticing that I haven't had an appetite much. I didn't know what was making me nervous, but every time I saw like an email or something in my, mm-hmm. I would just like swipe to the I, left. Like I just, I wouldn't floods, even read it. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even stuff. read it. I'm like, nope, Corona's not gonna affect me. I'm not getting involved with this shit. No way. I'm good. Thank you. Bye bye. Boop boop. Undelete. Subscribe. Unsubscribe. Like I'm not involved <laughs> with Corona right now. You know. But then today it just was like it was too much. And I started crying, and then my boss had to take me grocery shopping because I'm like, oh, my gosh, I don't have any food in my house. (laughs) Oh, my gosh, I'm not prepared. Yeah, but you told me after I took a nap, I I was unfocused on what you were saying Mm. in that moment. And you get all your news from, like, social media and stuff, so I wasn't sure you were serious. from the news. From the news? And CNN and shit. Like, you know dad's always watching CNN. Mm -hmm. I like, I didn't know if you fact checked that stuff. All I knew was I was in bed. I was comfortable. I just finished watching an episode of Vanderpump Rules. And I didn't feel like going to the grocery store and dealing with the madness. That would be the grocery store. But then today I realized, oh, my gosh, the grocery store is going to be empty by 430 because this announcement's coming in at 130. Um, so I need to get my butt to a grocery store. And that is exactly what I did in the middle of my work day because I have a supportive team. If you're listening, love you lots. Like... It was just, it was just, it's just madness. It's madness. It's just, like, what's going on in the news? Like, what do you have there? Let's, oh, uh, can we do a Corona news flash? Oh my gosh. Well, I've just been on CB24 on my phone for the most part. Um, and honestly, everything's just shutting down. Everything's just shutting down. Um, 
I, I, it's depressing. <laughs> Honestly, we got uh, in the world news. We have Iran has reports more than a hundred people uh, have coronavirus now. Uh, their numbers have gone up. It just Alba. Our dear, dear Idris, Idris Alba, the next has James tested, Bond, has tested positive for coronavirus. Okay, and and if any of the listeners have been naive like me briefly for a second, I really thought that black people couldn't get coronavirus. I thought so too. Um, I thought so but, too. But I thought that was true. real. The, but that was na- that was naive, naive, naive what? naivete. Naivete. That was so, a lot of naivete on your part. So um, that's happening. The Junos are actually canceled over it. Um, Tom Hanks, Reese, uh, Rita Wilson also tested positive coronavirus. Yeah, um, they're in Australia right now. Excuse me. Quarantined. Um, yeah, all the all of our sports teams are trying to fun together to do, um, um, I guess, recovery for the event staff because nobody can be in the stadiums and the stands for all these uh, these uh, these games. Oh my god! These events. So, and uh, the Olympics also, I heard, might be at a standstill as well. So we're we're shutting down. We're shutting down as a world and as a society right now, and it's uh, it's getting real. Shit's getting real, as Cardi B said. Yeah. Coronavirus. <laughs> Shit is getting real. Like, so. I don't know. Like, I just, to the listeners out there, because I know we have a worldwide audience, um, just some things you could do to take care of your mental health if you are self isolating right now or you're dealing with, what's that thing called? Social what? Oh, it's uh, social distancing. It's hashtag social distancing. It's all over social media right now. So. Yeah, I'm not on social media. So. Well, so yeah. It's, Explain you, it to it's the this whole, listening apparently, audience. It's this whole thing going on on social media where people are trying to distance themselves socially. So seeing people on the streets and in, in public areas, they're keeping a safe distance. So mm-hmm. um, just like, I don't know what's safe. But I don't know. A, a meter. A meter safe? Yeah, well, I heard that today. Three chairs away. Three, and well, so, <laughs> uh, well, they're keeping that length seats away. Seats away. Yeah. Three seats away. So. Remember when you were in high school and you were at a school dance and your um your principal would walk around and say binder width away? Like, think 10 binder widths away. Oh, no, I used to get, I used to get, um, keep room in between you for the Holy Ghost. For Jesus <laughs> I used to and the get a bread loaf away, um, and a binder width away. Well, like so a two ring, like two inch binder. With this, uh, with this problem, we're going to go with three chairs away. So everybody three, a meter. Three chairs away, at least a meter away from each other. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, wash your hands, of course. Don't touch your face, which is literally the hardest thing to do. I heard a fact today from a friend of mine. People touch their faces on average 500 times a day. <laughs> like 500 or something like what? that. Like, yeah, like 500 times a day. You touch your face without knowing it. Like. Listen, I don't believe that because I don't think I touch my face five times, 500 times a day. But You wouldn't even know. Oh, yeah, I do maybe. Because I got, yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, you're doing I it right do, now. I Where's do, hand I do. Hide your kids, Give hide your pump, wife, hide and your kids, hide your husbands, husbands, and old people, they and the kids. They're infecting everybody they infecting out here. everybody up in this bitch. Like, like, I thought we just had to sneeze in our elbows and cough no. in our elbows. No. So uh, today, everyone's Face like using their too? gloves. Everyone's wearing their purse, their gloves, and like Listen, touching things with their gloves. And like, I just, I don't know. I just stirred a drink with a pen, guys. Like, I'm not clear. Yeah, I'm oh. not concerned. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Let's not even let's not even get the public. I wanted in on to that. get the sugar mixed right. in, and the pen was the only thing at hand. You're so. losing your mind to the point that you're yeah, just I'm just starting picking things up and stirring. Like I don't like I'm I've given up. Obviously, obviously I've given up. Um, <laughs> it's too soon. It's but too soon. I was provided a self assessment that I just wanted to share with you guys before we wrap it up because there's not much you can say about end of days, right? Like there's not much other than being aware of the apocalypse. And, and you know, I'm not trying to scare you. I just think that like. We need to be cautious. We need to be aware that, like, of our surroundings and what we're doing, and be kind to people. Like, don't run people over with your grocery carts at the grocery store. Stop, Stop buying, buying up all the toilet paper. Like, listen, I have like seven rolls in my house. This is all I've got for like two weeks. So, like, guys, Stop the chill. madness, please. Chill I, with like, the toilet paper. Can't find rice. Can't find flour. Can't find bread. I couldn't find pasta for my make, tortilla. Like, I couldn't even make a loaf of bread for myself because you have <laughs> bought up the bread because there's no flour. <laughs> Like, that's come not on, corona. Get it together. What's a smoke get it stuff? together. <laughs> yeah. Just um, a quick self assessment, I guess. Um, 
If you are having difficulty breathing or experiencing other severe symptoms, call 911 immediately. That's only obviously in America and uh, Canada. I know there's a different emergency number around the world, something 11. So call something 11 immediately, advise them of the symptoms and your travel history. Um, if you are feeling unwell with any of the following symptoms, fever, new cough, uh, so not my smoker's cough if I just developed like a new cough, uh, or difficulty breathing or a combination of these symptoms, muscle aches, fatigue, headaches, sore throat, runny nose, or diarrhea. Symptoms in young children may not be specific. Uh, for example, lethargy or poor feeding. Um, so those are some of the symptoms. And if you have experienced any of the following, have traveled outside of Canada in the last 14 days or your nation, um, does someone in close contact you have COVID-19, for example, someone in your household or workplace, are you in close contact with a person who is sick with respiratory symptoms, for example, fever, cough, or difficulty breathing, um, who recently traveled outside of Canada? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you should seek clinical assessment for COVID-19 over the phone. Um, yeah, so that's just some of the symptoms of COVID, if you're experiencing any of those. I know they opened up 11 um, COVID sites uh, here in the Toronto area recently. For testing? Testing sites, yeah. Mm -hmm. they'll, they should be available online um, to anyone who's in the Toronto area. Maybe we'll get that information and just put that under. Yeah, under we'll put that in the, um, in the in description. The description. Um, yes, but um, I know that there are several testing sites open right now. Um but we will help you find the ones in your local area, get a website or something for you. So mm -hmm. look out for that in the description. Um, and I just want to say for all of those who are going through mental health issues, especially things like PTSD and anxiety, I heard a fact or I read a fact. Um, so during SARS, they, they did this test afterwards for people who self-isolated. Um, and it said that 31% uh, of people, 29, sorry, percent of people who isolated uh, post-isolation showed signs of PTSD and 31% showed signs of depression. So I've been isolated. I know what that feels like. I know what that looks like um, being bipolar. Um, it's kind of feels like the same thing except for I'm now in my house and I have the luxuries of my home instead of, you know, being strapped down to a bed or something. But it's the same kind of feeling of, you know, out of control, like you're out of your own control and you can't necessarily leave or move and you're isolated. Mm -hmm. And if you're choosing guys to self isolate, you need to also self care as well at the same time. That's very important. So doing things like reading a book, if you have a balcony going outside and getting fresh air, um, even if it's to take a walk around the block, it, take the risk because you'll need it. Um, you know, just doing things you love, making, you know, watch your favorite show, Netflix and chill or just Netflix if you're single. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, just do things to take care of yourself. Like after this, I'm going to have a lovely dinner with my team um, that Bianca is cooking as we speak. Mm. Um, she's in the middle of meal prep. I'm going to have a lovely dinner and I'm going to thank God for all of my blessings and I'm going to meditate tonight before I go to bed so I know I have a sound sleep. I will take my medication. And oh, also, that's another thing, guys. If you're out there and you're taking any meds, please contact your pharmacist to make sure they have enough supply for the upcoming weeks of your medication. So mm -hmm. that's another important thing for our people with mental health concerns out there. Um, yeah, but just self-care. Make sure you exhibit self-care and self-compassion. We are going to get through this. Um, United, we get through we, everything. We get through everything. United, we stand. Divided, we fall. And as long as people don't start going absolutely ravenous in the streets. And stir uh, crazy. And stir crazy. And we can handle this. We're Canada, man. Like, Canada A. We the North. Like, we can do this. <laughs> Keep we, that same energy we had when we won the championship. Championship. People. Come on. Keep Come on, Raptors. Even though you're not playing. Exactly. Keep that energy up. We're Canada. We're blessed. Don't worry. Don't worry, we'll, 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 we'll pull through, guys. We'll pull through, and we're going to do this together. We're going to hit you up next week with another episode, same time, same place, same bat time, same bat channel. I wanted to say that because I love saying that. What? Same bat time, same bat channel. You don't know Batman? Oh. Well, yeah, I know Batman, but, but I not the old yeah, version. Not the old version. So. Oh, okay, that's fine. I Fair enough. I appreciate that. that Fair enough. Um, if you guys want to reach us just to talk at this point, like, you know, just to, to vent, to get to that vent, anxiety off your chest. Get the anxiety off the chest. If you're feeling isolated, if you're feeling social dissidence or whatever. So, <laughs> so, social, social distancing. Social distancing. <laughs> if you're feeling that social distancing bug uh, hitting you and you just, you know, want to 
you know, just give a give us a shout out and let us know how you're feeling during this very very tumultuous and trying time that we're going through. Um, B, tell them how they can reach us. So if you guys would like to reach us, um, as she said, for any of those reasons or anything else, you can reach us at dish at daintydish.com. So that's D-Y-S-H at D-A-I-N-T-Y D-Y-S-H dot com. And if you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts. Give us a five, just a five. And if you're listening to us on any other streaming services, thank you so very much. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you'd like to get a hold of both of us, uh, you can get a hold of us through our shared Instagram, which is Dainty Dish Podcast. So that's D A I N T Y D Y S H P O D C A S T. Um, and if you'd like to get a hold of me, my um, social media handle is That Mother Bad. So that's T H A T M U V A B A D X O. Um, and if you'd like to get a hold of Onika, you can reach me at Best of Onika. That's B E S T O F O N I K A. And that's that's that. All right, guys, just hang in there, and I'll catch you on the flip side. So, with that said, be stay safe. safe, stay safe, stay one meter away from each other. Practice Wash your hands. Proper hygiene that <laughs> you're supposed to on a regular basis. That your mama should have taught you when you were just kids. a little bit more this time. Just a scooch more. Just, just a, a scooch. scooch more. Just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. You know. And um, well, with that said. That has been the dish of the day. And I hope you try to have a very, very, very happy hump day.